All right, that's the best angle I think I can get. This video is my experiences in me driving an old school car, classic car. Perks, my experiences of driving a, I wouldn't call myself a lowrider because I'm not a true, I, I, I am a true lowrider, but I don't have all the qualifications, you know, like the hydraulics, I don't have the uh, spokes yet, the rims, but I'm working my way there and I will be there someday, but um, I am an old school driver, I'm an old school cat, I'm an old soul, uh, nobody around where I live is driving, there's a few people, but there's not a lot of people that drive around classic cars, old school cars cars like this cars that make you turn your heads and um, before this car I drove the, a Mazda Miata a little convertible 1995 Mazda Miata it was bumping if if you know me you remember that car if you see my Instagram or see my old page or my old videos I'm working on that car and um, that car was a it, it warmed me up for this lifestyle this um, I'm also I'm a little different, you know, I don't just drive and cruise in old school around, I cruise with an attitude, I cruise with music, I cruise being myself, and my windows, there's no tint around my windows, you can see right through, you can see me, I'm not hiding behind my windows, I'm not hiding, like some people, I just pulled across a Cadillac, a Cadillac with five wheels, you know, he's stunting, probably from Houston, looked like a Houston cat, he got a little sticker in the front, his windows are black, and um, he heard me bumping. I couldn't see him, but I looked in his mirror and I said, good job, you know, good job. And this is what he did. He didn't roll his window down. He didn't, he's a fucking, one of those fucking haters, you know, not a hater, but he didn't roll down and show respect. Instead, he turned his music up to where it, you know, and his system sucked. His system wasn't that great for the type of car he had. He had a beautiful car, you know, and I'm just, I'm not the type of motherfucker who stares at somebody else in disgust when somebody puts a great car together when somebody drives with confidence when somebody has something nice that they worked on that they're working on I give them a thumbs up and I credit that to my dad for teaching me this at a young age when I was a little kid he taught me not to be a hater man he taught me to see guys with motorcycles guys in nice cars and he said he used to make me he said give him a thumbs up give him a thumbs up and I'm a little kid I'm like I don't, I don't want these like give him a thumbs up and I give people I give him a thumbs up you know good job dude Good job, and now as i grown up to an adult, all those little thumbs up, it led me to, it's hard to find a classic car, it's hard to find a car like this, and it's hard to put it together and make it running to where it's on the street legal, man. And this is my dream to own a car like this. It's my it's my dream to own an old school lowrider, and I wrote it down on the note, the note that I wrote down to get this car. I told him that it was my dream to own a classic car, classic lowrider, and she hit me up with him the next day. Um... I get looks every fucking turn. I get thumbs up. I get a brat right now. There's some bondo on the body. It's not perfect, but it's on its way. It's working to a nice setup. But I get, I would say, two out of three people are thumbs up, but one out of the three people are haters. Straight up haters, man. Straight up, ugh, like, you know, like a guy's girlfriend would be looking at my car and he would just be acting like he doesn't see me. Or people would just look totally disgusted in me you know disgusted in old people you know old people will be like they would look anyways, at anyways where I was going or what I was talking about was um I don't know where I left off I just know that um I was think I was talking about my haters you know two two out of three people give me thumbs up and I since I had the Miata I knew that people just a lot of People hated the Miata. There's a lot of haters with that car. The little group, there was either lovers or haters. People either either loved you, supported you like crazy, or there were people that hated like crazy. But there was more haters than supporters. More haters. The Impala, the old school, I get a lot more respect from people, from white guys, from old white guys, you know, from from black people, um, of course Mexicans, but respect all around, all over America, you know. But I get these suburban, um, not suburban, but just like these dudes, older guys. They're not too old, but they, you can tell that their, their youth was ripped, ripped from them. You know, like their, their, um, 
you can tell like they wanted something like that you know they wanted a classic car but but you're living the dream that they wanted to live you know but they never worked for it they never did anything about it and they see me driving and smiling and jamming my music and you can tell that they're just they're disgusted, man, and they, they don't like me. You can tell. You can just tell by the way a motherfucker just looks at you, dude. And I get it every fucking day. And I understand that people are going to be themselves, okay? People are going to... People... I can't control how a motherfucker, you know, looks at me. I can't control that. All I can control is how I feel about it, you know? And I see people, little kids, the town that I'm in... Um, little kid, little little bitty kids point at me, and they, and I can see that they're like their jaws drop, and and it makes me feel good, you know. And then and then you turn around the corner, and you get these little goofy motherfucking college kids who try to make fun of your music, and they'll dance, right? And then I'll turn off my music just so they can dance to nothing, and they look over at me. I'm like, yeah, I can make I can make you dance, and I play it. I was like, dance for me. So um, all over the board, I get haters, I get lovers, I get supporters. A lot of thumbs up so many thumbs up to where I don't see it because I'm focused on the road or I'm focused on my music or I'm focused on something else someone's giving me a thumbs up and I miss it and I see it last second and I feel like a total fucking asshole like dude he probably thinks I'm an asshole you know I didn't see you and I and I try to give him a peace sign or a thank you you know but um and I, I don't take it to heart like when I see an old school guy and I give him the thumbs up I give him the peace sign I usually give him a thumbs up good job um and they don't see me or they, they they're just you know Minding their business, and I, I understand, you know, I'm like, I get it, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and call this dude an asshole, and probably didn't see me, but the dude today was uh, an asshole, you know, the dude today that I saw in a Cadillac, all tinted black windows, like, hiding behind his tent, like, come on, dude, you probably are some skinny or some fat motherfucker inside there, you ain't no badass, Five, I have 0% tint, you can see who's inside of my car, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm, I don't sit and hide behind tent, man, but, it is Texas, so my last car I didn't have 5% tint, but I had my top down all the time. You know, I wasn't hiding. I had the top down. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I'm not a hypocrite. But old school car, man, I love the vibes. I love the culture. I love the people. The heat, it's fucking, it's a summer. It's my first summer with this thing, and it's fucking hot as fuck. You know, I drive it at nighttime, and I drive it early in the morning during the day. I'll drive it around, but... I sweat my ass off, dude. I sweat my fucking ass off. And I thought about building a a um, cooler, like a fan that goes into the into a, a cooler and blows it out. Didn't fucking work. Didn't do well. So I'm like, I'm just going to tough it out this summer, save up my money, and try to get a universal uh, AC kit. Or if anybody has something else they, can, they, they, they know works or something better, I'm going to work on that. But it's about to be fall. It's September, so it's about to be the fall. I'm about to be, September 10th, I'm about to be 27 years old. My goal was to own a classic old school lowrider by the time I'm 28. And I own a classic, I own a classic car, but it's not, it's not a traditional, it's not a lowrider yet, okay? I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to say something I'm not, but I'm working to be there, you know? And, and I feel like I'm one. I feel like I'm, I'm that guy. And everywhere I go, I get everybody looking man everybody turning their heads i don't really drive people around much um except for my family but my friends people stare people hate um what's cool about me is i listen to music very loud i listen to music it's not obnoxious it's classic music or it's, it's just whatever the fuck i want to listen to i'm myself and i pull up and inside of every person there's a hater or there's a lover there's a hater there's a supporter Okay, each inside of each person, and I, when I pull up with my music, with blaring, and they're like, "Oh my gosh," you know, I'm listening to Easy E, right, cruising down the street in my six foe. I'm driving right, and they turn around, and it's exactly what the fuck they think it is. It's an old school classic car. It's the real deal. You know what I mean? The either the lover or the hater comes out of you. And people stare, and I stare, I'm not afraid to stare right back at them, like, what's up? People either thumbs up, or say, good job, or, or like, yeah, man, I like it, I like it, rock on, I listen to rock music, and they're like, rock on, you know? And either the hater or the lover comes out to you, and I get to count, everywhere I pull up, I get to see all the haters, 
and all the people who were ugly and just just hateful inside i get to see that come out of people man and it's it's kind of cool it's kind of entertaining you know i should make a video of me just driving and, and pulling up next to people but this is just my experience with it i'm sure as time goes on i'm sure it's different because i play music i'm a classic car but yeah i play music i i drive with an added well, an attitude of um, um confidence i have confidence when i'm driving uh i'm not afraid to be myself you know and that alone gets you weird looks that alone gets you weird stares and i and people are like fuck them you know fuck fuck what anybody thinks and i'm like yeah you're right fuck them fuck them but i'm not gonna ignore them I'm, I, I see them I see him, I see what's going on, you know, I can see, I can see your bitch ass over there fucking just hating on me, I can see that, dude, it's written all over your fucking face and in your eyes, and I, I feel bad for you, dude, I feel bad, you're gonna live your whole life like that, you're gonna die in the grave, dude, I, I'm living a dream, man, this is a dream to me, it was my dream to, before owning a classic car, it was my dream to have a fucking car, to drive around, I remember in 2012, I didn't have a car, and I looked at, I was walking to work, miles to work, maybe five, seven miles to work, and I was wishing I had a fucking car to drive, I was just looking at cars, wishing I had one, man, it was my dream to drive around in a fucking car, dude, a fucking car, so I know what it's like to walk places, and I know what it's like to, to make it out of that struggle to having a car, not just to having a car, but to having a dream car man and it's a blessing every time I'm driving I drive like I've never driven before I drive like I've like I've been homeless and, and I never had anything you know what I mean so this to me is is joy it's a it's peace I find peace people think it's a materialistic thing this is the last thing I'm going to talk about people think that it's a materialistic thing like oh he's into his car oh he's he's always working on his car oh he's always washing his car he's he's detailing his car every fucking day from the outside perspective, all my neighbors fucking think I'm obsessed, which I am. It's it's kind of true. I am a little obsessed, but it, they think I'm obsessed with material things. They might. I'm obsessed with appreciation, and I appreciate my car. I appreciate for what it does for me, and I walk and I wax and, and and clean it, and I wax and clean my other car that isn't a low rider. And it's not materialistic. It's art. A form of artwork everybody has their own art people put it in music people paint a painting my sister is a painter people do their own fucking thing they climb a mountain right that's their form of that's that's what they do they they like to climb and do nature and take pictures next to fucking i don't know fucking cow not a cow but a bear you know that's what they do that's what they do for fun this is my fun this is my form of art it's art on fucking four wheels man peace out man have a great day um, go get your dreams, man. I'm, I'm living in mine. I'm living in my dream. Um, and just to see the people see me now, it's a good feeling, man. I feel like a, not just a celebrity, but I feel respected. I feel, I feel alive. So, and it makes me happy and excited about life. I get to look forward to what can I do next to it. Like the lights, I can put the lights, the carpet on, you know, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in it. And it, and it helps me use bad and good energy. It helps me put it into that car. And so far, I've been working an hour a day each day on it. And um, I've had it for seven months now, uh, eight months. And I went from nothing to something. And that's what all I'm about, nothing to something, man. And to create something that's been sitting left to rot, just neglected, man. And, and she's driving around. You know, I just put new headlights on, so I'm very happy about my purchase. I'm very happy about my experiences. Um, when I go down to Austin, I live in a college town, so I expect all this little bullshit, um, um, you know, jealousy. I expect that here, you know, because there's a bunch of immature motherfuckers. But when I go to Austin, when I drive to Austin, there's a lot more people, older people who respect the culture and, 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 and can see hard work and appreciate hard work, you know what I mean? So either way... Your thumbs up or thumbs down, I can't not let it go inside me. I appreciate it, but I cannot let it go inside me. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna put myself in this vehicle, and I'm gonna rock. I'm gonna drive and be myself, man. Peace out. Hopefully, you guys get to see me build it because I'm I'm building it. Hopefully, you guys get to see me keep on pushing forward with it, and um, 
I want you to see I want you to see me live it out, live out my dream, man. And it's gonna happen. Peace out.